friends, welcome back to our shared channel. You are um, very much in luck today because we're doing another episode of Why Would You Buy This? It especially applies to me because I don't like coffee. But today we're trying espresso maker. Not just any espresso makers, we are trying portable or travel espresso makers. We have one, two, three right here different prices and I am very excited about this. So even though this is called like, why would you buy this? I would absolutely buy all of these. We'll see. No, I really would. Well, you don't know if they work. That's actually true, you're right. Okay, well let's start with the Wakako oh, maker. Wakako. Um, they're all under $50, that's good. That's super affordable. It's also like, that's good for something I don't need at all. Feel how lightweight it is. I thought you were making me smell it. Smell I was the like, cardboard. does it smell? <laughs> Should we do these like at the same time? Yeah, let's do them at the same time. So you're opening up the Muku. They have, they have very great interesting names. names. <laughs> Yours is under $40 and it costs $39.90. Mine is actually, I think, the most expensive. Mine came with a satch. Mine looks like a diamond. <laughs> it looks like a giant ring. <laughs> okay, so one thing, Lily, that did stand out about yours when we ordered it is that yours makes hot or cold it like a flashlight. <laughs> it looks like kind of Whoa. phallic, honestly, to be real with you. Oh, wow, this looks like a speaker. It does oh, look like or, a podcast mic. Or a podcast mic. mic. Yes, that's correct. Wow, I wonder if that's foreshadowing, Lil. Like a podcast. See, why don't you make cold coffee in yours? Okay. And I'll make hot in mine. I think we've talked about before that I get really stressed out making coffee and anything coffee related because I just, it's so, such a foreign concept to me. So I took the top off, which was the cup. Now I'm gonna take the bottom off, which is the part that holds the coffee. Okay, this is cute. This is the little scoopity scoopity for the coffee that fits directly right in here. Yes, I did get my favorite Starbucks espresso finely ground beans from Target. Put this right on here like that. Is this the water tank? I. But like, how, tell me, like, I just, <laughs> look at the town where it almost looks like they maybe fl flipped it. Okay, wait, that comes into play now. So that's not in play yet. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pour the hot water into my water tank. I just Great. released the piston on mine and I'm oh ready to God. start pumping. I just can't even. So yeah. now I start pumping slowly. I feel like from there it makes. But wait, where's the cup? Yeah, I need help. Super easy to use um, and figure out by yourself. Uh. I will say all of the Amazon reviews said that these were wildly easy to figure out. Are we Amish? Why are we, what am I, why am I making my- Oh, it's coming out. This yeah. is gonna have to be censored. Once you figure it out, it's not that bad. Like I would travel with this for sure. Yours looks very light. Gross, or is it, did you add some milk to make it like a mocha? What, Do you wanna just try it? Let's just, let's just take, it's gonna be disgusting. No, it's not. It's just straight up espresso. Here, do you wanna add some Coffee Mate sugar-free vanilla creamer? If you wanna sponsor me, Coffee Mate, I will be the most authentic brand ambassador you've ever had. Do you agree? Yeah, she brings it to the airport. I bring it everywhere. Every country I yeah, travel to, I all around the world. I'm gonna add a little dibble dibble here to my... Um... <laughs> oh, no. I guess this isn't warm enough because the... It's not, it's not disintegrating. <laughs> Can you see that? That looks like something I don't want to drink. This tastes like water down coffee, unfortunately. It doesn't really taste like espresso. It to have like pulp in it. <laughs> Yours is a lot stronger than mine. Do you want to try mine? <laughs> um, it's my fault, it's my fault. Do you see what that looks like? It looks a little moldy, but um, it, it was a user looks, error. It looks like you put like blue cheese in it. I do like that actually, but um, it's sweet. I don't like it. Are you gonna try this one? You should try this I, one. That, no, I don't want to. This is actually pretty good. But I think it's time for us to join forces and try out the one that is actually highest rated. Can't wait, it's gonna. And the cheapest. Highest rated and the cheapest. This one is the AeroPress Go. And I think a lot of people actually use this when they're camping. That makes it look like it's like what you pee in. <laughs> like at the doctor. Oh, it does. Yeah, it does with the lid. 
And I think this is actually an essential for camping because like if you're gonna go camping, you have to have coffee. I mean, I just opened all of the items up. It comes with a lot of stuff. Looks all of this super stuff. easy to use. Okay, so this is the first piece. You push the plunger out of the chamber. So you push this thing all the way through. And then you put a filter. Oh, it has little coffee filters? How cute. Is that what this is? Twist the filter cap onto the chamber. The part that says arrow whatever on it. Stand the chamber on the mug. This is the mug. And pour one rounded scoop of fine drip coffee into the chamber. Add water up to the number one. It's really hard to pour out of a mug. <laughs> my fingers aren't strong enough to hold it up and not touch. Oh, it went to the one. That's okay. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. Gosh. Insert the plunger and press gently, pausing when you feel resistance. Um, I'm imagining someone doing this like in their car though. Like, like for commuters and stuff, you would want to like have yes. it for your ride, but it's like, couldn't you just do it with your actual espresso maker in your house and then? Or like a French press inside your house. Until the plunger reaches the ground, you remove the filter cap, which I'm assuming is this thing. Oh, the coffee's in there. So that now you just clean it out. So you just pull this thing off. I'm not gonna do it right now. And you just empty everything out and clean it. That was really easy. I'm confused. So it just doesn't make that much? No, it's just espresso. So like espresso Yeah. So you could technically, actually, you could fill this up more because this is big enough to hold. You could do like several shots of espresso, but like espresso is just a little bit. It's like more saturated kind of. But if you wanted to add more hot water, you could make it like an Americano or you could add so like- many kinds of coffee. It's I know. so confusing. I, I don't know. understand. Let me try it. This one's probably the best. She just like gulped that. Try it. Take a sip. It's good. Oh, that's terrible. It this is, is not entry level. Like if you've never had coffee, this is not That for tastes you. like water that you, that's the thing also. It's like, what are these doing? I get that they're pushing it through the filter, but it really just feels like you like poured some of that in some water and like shook it up. But this is the strongest that we've had out of all the machines and the most. Like there, you could drink this as a cup of coffee. This is the largest cup. So if you're camping or something, you could share this with other people. I mean, I wouldn't. It's I would drink it all it myself. It tastes so bad. Like Really? You think that tastes good? Yeah, I mean, it's an acquired taste for sure. Like, you could do cold brew, latte, American coffee, which is like what we drink that's just like, oh, bless you. This one only cost $31. And it was the easiest. Look at the directions. They're actually understandable. Um, so why would you buy this? I guess I wouldn't, but here's why I would buy this. Okay. Okay, first off, remember at our last job, that coffee machine that was like gross and I know there was like dead animals inside no, of it. It was disgusting. Before. There was definitely cockroaches being ground up along with the coffee beans. Gross. Um, I still drink it every day, so you know, they're all inside now. I would have loved to have had this so that I could have made my own coffee in my own office where everybody left me alone. But again, I would like to say I would have just brought like an actual one. That's a good idea, good point. This is just smaller. It's like more to the point, you know? Or if you're a minimalist, you're living in a tiny house. I think my only reasoning is like camping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or I travel a lot and I get up very early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And sometimes coffee shops are not open when I wake up. I'll give you that too. So I would like to have this in my hotel room so that I can make coffee at my own leisure. Nice. Let's rank these though. I, I don't feel qualified to properly rank them, so I'll let you take this one. Probably this one is number one easily because it was the only one we could actually understand. That's true. And it made the best coffee. This one has a lot of pieces. And it felt like it took way too long to set up. And I still don't remember how. And it's a and little heavy. Now it's leaking. And I don't know from where. To so be I'm gonna give that third place. Okay. Third place. And then my little guy over here, which is so teeny weeny with the little dingler coming off of it. Um, just for pure comedy purposes. Whoa, calm down. This is number two. 
Okay. Um, we also have ordered a few more items for this show, but is there anything specific you would like us to order? I like to just peruse Amazon because yes. I feel like a lot of the time lately they're like, ooh, make your home a smart home. And then I just get down a dark wormhole of like, every way I can make my life yes. easier, which is so not necessary. I want to look more into smart vacuums. Should we just buy a robot? Do those exist? What do they do? <laughs> I don't know. Basically <laughs> what we're getting at is this show could go a lot of places and we would love your help with it. So please hit the comments and let us know if you have any ideas for what we should purchase on this. Essentially there's no rules. So if you want to see if something works and you're like, eh, I don't want to waste my money, <laughs> but they should. We'll waste our money. We'll do it. Yes, for we you guys. Will. And if you guys are watching this show right now and you're like, wow, what a mess. I just want more of this. Guess what? We have a Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash shared. And you will get the unedited versions of all of these videos before anyone else even sees the video. You get them a day early. Mm -hmm. it's goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you know what, Lil? I would actually be so curious because you like drinking soda. If you swapped like one soda, one espresso shot, you would feel like truly like you could